A range chart is built to represent a specified range of price movements regardless of how long it takes the price to make that movement. This filters out price movements that are smaller than the range size, making the trend easier to visualize. CTrader allows traders to develop strategies based on range bars and the process is identical to developing strategies using standard time-based candlesticks. In this video, we will demonstrate how you can develop and backtest a simple strategy based on range bars. Let's begin by designing a simple strategy based on range bars. Range bars are very useful in identifying trend exhaustions and reversals. In our case, the signals will be simple. A buy signal will be a bullish range bar that follows a bearish range bar and closes above the bearish bar's opening price. The interpretation of the signal is that the bearish bar was met with strong resistance, hence a longer wick above the opening price. Our bearish signal will be the opposite setup. In this case it will be a bearish range bar that follows a bullish range bar and closes below the bullish bar's opening price. We will switch now to CTrader Automate and create a new CBOT. We will name it Range Strategy Example. To start with, let's define some necessary parameters for our strategy. First, we will declare the volume parameter. Then, we will declare the stop loss and the take profit parameters. Now that we have declared our parameters, we will implement our trading strategy rules in the onbar closed method. For our buy orders, we will check if the last bar is bullish, if the previous bar is bearish and if the current close price is above the previous bar's opening price. We can retrieve specific bars from the bar's collection using the last method. It is worth reminding that indexing starts from zero indicating the current bar and goes backwards. Therefore we will check if the bars with index 1 has a close value lower than the open value, indicating that it's a bearish bars. Then we will check if the close value of the bar with index 0 is above the previous bar opening price. If the condition is true let's execute our market order. We will use the parameters declared in the beginning for the volume, the stop loss and the take profit values. On the contrary, for our sell orders, we will check if the bars with index 1 has a close value higher than the open value, indicating that it's a bullish bar. Then we will check if the close value of the bar with index 0 is below the previous bar opening price. Let's build our strategy, add an instance and see how it behaves on backtesting. We can inspect the history and check the deal map on the chart to verify that our positions are entered as per our intention.
Something that needs to be pointed out is that range strategies use the same data structures as time-based candlesticks. As you can see in our example, we use the bars collection to retrieve our range bars, as we would for time-based candlesticks. We can still access open, high, low, and close properties as well as open time. This feature of CTrader allows you to develop strategies that can be tested and run on any chart type without the need of any modifications. Let's change the time frame to a time-based chart for a while and rerun our backtesting just to demonstrate that the strategy is still working. We can see that the same rules are executed for our candlesticks without the need for any modifications in the code. Finally, in order to demonstrate that range strategies can also be optimized, we will switch to Optimization tab and optimize our example strategy. In this video we demonstrated how to develop a simple strategy based on range charts. We have shown that the strategy can use the same data structures as for time-based candlesticks and that such a strategy can be reused on a time-based candlestick chart as well. We hope that you found the video helpful. Feel free to ask any questions at the bottom of this video and subscribe to be updated when we publish a new video.